Hello there! <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you really quickly just about a couple of the bottles that you might be dealing with when you go to cut your glass. So, first things first, uh, I want to talk about thickness of the glass. So I have two glasses here, you can kind of see. Looking really close, you can see that this is a really thin glass. You can probably tell this just picking a bottle up based on its lightness versus other glasses like this one I have here which has a lot thicker of a rim. Um, it's really interesting once you start cutting the glass is that you'll realize that the, uh, the thickness actually kind of varies even within the glass itself, or excuse me, within the bottle. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I guess what I'm really getting at is obviously it's going to be easier to get a clean score um, on a thinner glass bottle versus something like this. It just so happens that I got a relatively good score on both of these, so hooray for me. Um, something that I also did find is that uh, bottles that are frosted like this are also for some reason a lot more difficult to score as well. Um, I don't know whether they're made up differently, someone probably a lot smarter than me can tell you why, um, but you can probably see just really faintly I have a score line here and it didn't end up cutting correctly so um, yeah that's just something I'll have to deal with in my life. Um, as far as the bottle shape, I have three examples here. Um, you can't really see, I'll push this back. So we have a square glass bottle of an unnamed liquor. We have a curvy wine bottle, and then we have a very thin bottle. Which one of these do you think you can actually cut with the glass cutter? I'm going to tell you right now. It's this one. Surprise. Um, even though it's really thin, you can still use it on the G2 glass cutter that you hopefully bought by now. Or if you're just watching for my looks and charm, that's fine too. Um, but this glass and this bottle shape will be ideal for cutting. Um, I think that the glass cutter can actually cut up to five gallons, uh, five gallon jug, big old jug. So yay for this. This bottle, while you probably can cut it, I wouldn't recommend cutting it in your first few weeks of wine cutting. Um, only because it has a weird curve and it's probably going to make for a pretty messy score and jagged edge. So no, and a square bottle. Uh, unfortunately, the glass cutter that you hopefully bought again uh, does not cut uh, square glass. So I don't know what you want to do with these. Maybe, you know, make your own home brew, but you will not be cutting them with the glass cutter. And so I hope I... Uh, I hope I taught you a thing or two about the glass you're going to be dealing with. Um, I know we haven't actually cut anything yet, but you'll just have to deal with it. Um, so yes, no to the frost, yes to the thin, no to the square. Um, so thanks, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>